on this episode of La Peef, Let's Talk. A lot different than women. So you said that logic. Logic just knows everything about women tonight, which I'm just amazed. He Go can ahead. bring oh. bring bring logic down here with me. He's about to help us to he understand something. Tell. I mean, okay, if you can help me understand, help. that's it's amazing. I mean, because you know what is weird to me because y'all are ladies. I'm married. I'm trying to understand what is it that I'm missing or that y'all missing that logic can give us some insight I, about logic. You care I to share? Oh, I, I definitely like, care to share. <laughs> I definitely care to share. I want. Can I share, Jr.? Absolutely. Go ahead, brother. It's oh, insane oh. that she made these points. Men, and this is it, men do things and women do the exact same things. Men get more time. Men have more consequences. When it comes to the whole child, where a, a woman make a bad decision by having a child, she get the state, she get other people to help her out. Is there anybody else want to uh, chime in on that? Lala said a lot of men are selfish in the bedroom. Nope. Everybody plead the fifth? Okay. See, I said it's going. Yeah. I feel like I said all there is to say about that. Okay. All right. Well, um, I want to bring up, oh, before I do, make sure you guys get them likes up. Also, subscribe to the channel. Let me shout out these super chats real quick. Oh, that's the humble dad. I thought I saw a humble dad. I thought I might have did. I'm tripping. Anyhow, mm -hmm. uh, AK said, ladies, be careful with your talking points. Jordan is 60 and AI is 45. The conversation can and will be used at a later date. We said what we said. I stand right. by it. Yeah. Shout out, Shout out You know, Brown says, I'm with you on that, Rilla. I peeped that also. I'm not sure That's what you're referring to. Uh, I think Logic is right. Mr. Logic would be in the Cumberland Mall in ATL. Mall. And the people walk right by my guy. AI is six feet. <laughs> I'm like, AI. Mm -mm. He gave a head nod. Nobody else knew who he was. I'm 42. He almost 47. Nobody flinched, I swear. Mm hmm this is men trying to clout chase exactly i'm so oh, over the gender oh, war hey uh, oh that's she won a super chat that was something i wanted to highlight what gender uh, war what gender yeah <laughs> men don't uh care about women's money david x said appreciate the super Tell chat. That's a safari uh 1999 the orange peel nurse says courtney even if she made a valid point you leave by example if Nicki minaj is gonna uh say focus on yourself and your own success and the outcome is a husband that is that convict dusty she married then why was why was why should be black women listen, black women listen. <clears throat> if nick um focus on the message not the messenger yeah. mm -hmm. focus on the message not the messenger so i like that the two dollars for chat that's a good one. Uh, women have been focused on themselves for 50 years. L Train Galaxy, appreciate Not 50 that. Years. Oh my life, I had to fight. The Healing Force Wellness well, $20 Super Chat. The mental spirit is going about it the wrong way. The complete disregard for human respect makes it a defensive issue. We will continue to hit brick walls until this is dealt with. It's disrespectful. Appreciate the Super Chat, Healing Force Wellness. And lastly, Kayla.com is on fire. Talking mm -hmm. points on points. She is denied a little bit. The lit, the last part. See, why would you diminish her fire? Exactly. Uh, a little bit. Get ladies. Why is he trying to diminish? Diminish Kayla's fire. Agree. Tamiko, Tamiki, Tamikia, nine nine nine. Anton got the chat in shambles. I'm just saying, like, why can't Kayla? Be a burning flame. Why is her fire being diminished? Diminished. Why are we yes. doing little sprinkles on her fire like a little bit? Like, can Kayla tell him? Dang, Kayla's tired. Anti, like when you stand up because your arms and hands are so much more expressive. Like you've been doing a lot with your. You know what? I, I that's what. I, that's why I said I was gonna stand up. I think that it's gonna be a better, yeah. a better set of situation for yeah. me. I'm with it. Yeah. Thank you, Kay. Were you, you. Were you boogie, up I when see you that boogie tried to get your ass up out of there now. No, <laughs> okay. Were you standing up when we yeah. talked about the um the first question? Yep, I've been standing up the whole time. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. Uh let's move it on. So following that conversation, Nikki said this. Nikki said men don't have consequences in the real world because women are always sitting there 
waiting to welcome them back with open arms after they do dumb shit. <laughs> that's what Nikki said. Oh, that's, that's funny. Okay, uh, go ahead, Kayla. Wait, wait, what did she say? Let me see this again. She Nikki did say, Why you want to come to me? No, no, she did say that. She said, Nikki said, men don't have consequences in the real world because women are always sitting there waiting. She said people, but she was referring to women, waiting to welcome them back with open arms after they do dumb shit. What's that? That's the exact opposite of how it happened in the work, man. I'm fading away. It's funny, but it's true. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh like that. Okay, so uh, what do you guys thoughts about that? Is it true? She has a point. Um, Kayla, you said you agree. Why is that? You explain. I agree because there are certain men that no matter how much bullshit they do, how many baby mamas and new babies they create while in the relationship, there are just some women that are always going to take them back. And if they don't, there's another girl that will still date him. I mean, Peter Gunn's got like 15 kids. Or something. Dude. And there's still women. There's still women that would date him after the Tara and Amina thing. And there are still women right now that will welcome him with open arms. And I promise you this. Okay. Courtney, what are your thoughts about it? Hmm? You said Courtney I, or Kay? Me. Courtney. Wow. Um, th that's true. I think it's true. I think there's um, people that, again, when we talk about being sprung and infatuation, they do some stuff that you should have left or show the red flags and people stay. Um, so I think we ignore red flags, hoping that, you know, maybe they can change or maybe we can change them. I think a lot of women have that. We want to change the man. We want to be that one that he acts right for, that he does right, even though he might have messed up with his baby mom and them. But for me, I am that one. I'm the one that I'm going to make them sprung, however we think that we are. Um, but for sure, women do take men back that has hurt them or did some fucked up shit. And vice, I don't know vice versa, though. I think men's tolerance is a lot, a lot different than women. So you said that logic, logic just knows everything about women tonight, which I'm just amazed. He can bring, lo bring, bring logic down here with me. He's about to help us to he understand something. Help. I mean, okay, if you can, can help me understand, help. that's it's amazing. I mean, because you know what is weird to me? Because y'all are ladies. I'm married. I'm trying to understand what is it that I'm missing or that y'all missing that logic can give us some insight I, about logic. You care I to share? Oh, I, I definitely like, care to share. <laughs> I definitely care to share. I want, can I share, JR? Absolutely. Go ahead, brother. It's insane that she made these points. Men, and this is it. Men do things and women do the exact same things. Men get more time. Men have more consequences. When it comes to the whole child, where a, a woman make a bad decision by having a child, she get the state, she get other people to help out. 